Welcome to HortTube, where we talk all things gardening. My name is Jim Putnam, and this is a Lemon Lime Nandina. This is Lemon Lime Nandina, an amazing, low-growing, evergreen shrub that gets beautiful yellow new foliage. Lemon Lime can eventually reach four feet in height and four feet in width, but it'd be very easy to keep this plant probably two and a half feet high and two and a half feet wide. Lemon lime is best in horticultural zone six to nine, probably in zone six A. I probably wouldn't put this out in open space. I'd use it as a foundation plant or in a protected spot. Like most dwarf nandinas, lemon lime is gonna grow pretty slowly. We probably get less than six inches of growth out of these in a year, which is great if you're using them in a, on a foundation where you wanna keep something low. Like most nandinas, lemon lime would prefer at least a half a day sun all the way to full sun. They will grow in less light than that, but they tend to be thinner and I doubt you'd get as much of the spring yellow foliage. Because it's slow growing and evergreen, lemon lime makes an absolutely fantastic foundation plant where you have low windows or a low porch rail, anything you wanna keep three foot or lower, there's not a lot of choices for that. It would make an absolutely fantastic container plant and probably not in zone six. I'd probably only do that in seven, eight or nine because if the roots froze, it could be damaged. And then it would look great mass planted. This foliage is fantastic on it during the growing season and Something like a purple or a petalum behind it would really be striking. The highlights of lemon lime nandinas are one, it's obviously evergreen. I'm shooting this in January, so the foliage, although it is slightly lighter than the interior foliage, is not that bright yellow this time of year, but here's the tag on these. These are really quite striking in spring and early summer with this really bright, vivid, kind of lime green foliage. I've included videos on planting in the description of this video. There's really not a lot of concerns with nandinas. They're really very rugged plants. I would dome them up a little bit and don't over mulch them and don't over water them. The first year lemon lime's in the ground, you are probably gonna need to water it occasionally. Just put your finger down about two inches deep near the plant, see if it needs water and then saturate the entire space around it. These are extremely drought tolerant. Once they're established, you won't have to do a lot of ongoing watering. If it does get really, really dry, you could saturate it a couple times during the summer, but it's not a plant that's really gonna need to be on any kind of irrigation system. The highlight of this plant is the new growth that happens in the spring and early summer. And so we definitely wanna fertilize these in the mid spring with any kind of slow release fertilizer for outdoor plants would be fine. Just do it once in maybe April. You're almost never gonna need to prune lemon lime nandinas. If you do, usually it's two or three cuts can take six inches off of this thing. And that's a couple years worth of growth taken out of it. Like most nandinas, Nandinas, they get very few pests. Occasionally I'll see scale insects on Nandinas that are in stressed conditions. They would be susceptible to root rot if you were to put this plant in an area that stays wet all the time. They're basically deer proof. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the low maintenance, yellow new foliage, lemon lime Nandina. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about Nandinas. Thanks again.